In this video, I'm going to show you how to create product tables like the one you see here, as well as product boxes like this one. And these work really well for inserting into your review content and getting more clicks to those products. Now there are multiple ways that you can do this, but the one way that I recommend is using a plugin called AAWP or Amazon Associates for WordPress. So this is the website, it's getaawp.com. Once you land on here, um, all you need to do is, is go through the checkout process, uh, I believe, get started and you'll see the pricing options. Um, once you go through the checkout, you will receive the uh, download to the plugin as well as your license key. Once you have those things, you can go into your WordPress dashboard, click on uh, add new plugin, upload the plugin, uh, install, activate, and you will see a new menu item here called Amazon Affiliate. And here is where you input your license key and you can click activate. Once you've done that, you can go to the Amazon API tab and you can fill in your API key, your secret key, your country and your tracking ID. Now, I'm not going to cover how to find those things in your Amazon Associates account. Um, I will link to a tutorial below, so that should be easy enough. But once you've added all that, the, the real fun begins because you can start creating your tables. So head over to the tables section. And as you can see, I've already set one up and I'm going to go into that to show you how that looks. So the first thing you'll want to do is define your rows. So this is basically saying I want the first row to be a thumbnail of the product image, the second row to be the title, then a yes no box, so it will be a tick or a cross, and then I want the price and a buy button. And, and you can set the, uh, the titles for these yourself. What you do then is add your products by ASIN. And the plugin will pull in most of this information using Amazon's API. And this is exactly why we're using it because Amazon requires that you pull information from their API so that it stays up to date. Because if you have um, outdated images or, or outdated prices, it's going to reflect really badly on your site and Amazon will punish you for that. So this is the primary reason why we're using this, but it's also handy because it's really easy to set these tables and product boxes up. Now, once you've added a, uh, an ASIN in here, it's going to give you some options. I would mostly leave this to, to do its thing. If you really want to overwrite some of these, you can. Um, the checkboxes, you'll be able to set yes or no. Um, and you can add as many of these as you want. But just bear in mind that it is going to span the width of your screen. So if I head back over to that, that post that I had set up, you'll see that I have four products in here. And it's already quite wide. So... That's definitely something you want to keep in mind. As you add more products, it's going to be more um, cramped and it's not going to look quite as good. Now, there is a, a trick to, to allowing your table to expand past the width of your, your main content. And I'm going to show you that in a later video, but I just wanted you to be aware of that. Now, I'm going to open this post in Thrive Architect just to show you how this looks. And if I scroll down you'll see that it's actually just a shortcode and a very, very simple shortcode. I can find this information from uh, the plugin settings. So if I go up here, you can see it in the corner. This is the shortcode that you want to use for the table. Now for the product boxes, again, it's just a matter of using a shortcode. So if I scroll down, this is the uh, product box. And all you have to do is enter the ASIN directly into the shortcode and it will pull that product in for you along with pricing, images, and everything else. And you can set in the uh, global settings for AAWP how you want those product boxes to display. So there is really a lot of power in this plugin, and I've only scratched the surface here. So definitely have a play with that to see what else you can achieve, and to style these elements to align with your colors and branding. So that's all for this video, and I will see you in the next one.